Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining me. My name is Keegan Edwards with Liquid Retailer, and today we're going to continue where we left off in the last video about doing test orders. Um, so I suggest you watch the test orders video first, uh, but if you're already familiar with the way that an order comes through, today we're just going to talk about capturing payments on orders. So using my test order, we'll see that this order came through and we see payment status is marked as authorized. So if I go in here, I'm prompted to capture or accept the payment. Now, why is that? A lot of the stores that we work with through Liquid don't have their actual product catalog tied back to their inventory. What that means is that sometimes somebody can order something on the site, like let's say this life protection chicken and brown rice recipe, and we might not have it in stock, meaning that we don't want to accept their payment because we can't actually produce this order for them. So what we do is we allow somebody when they check out on the site, they authorize their credit card for payment, but we don't actually capture the payment until we're sure that this product is in stock. So just to show you where that's set up, if I go to the account settings and I go to payments and I scroll down, you'll see the payment authorization can either be automatic, meaning that as soon as the person checks out, it charges the customer's credit card, or it can be manual, meaning that we capture payments for orders uh, after we've authorized their credit card for us to be allowed to charge it. That gives us an opportunity to check on the order, make sure that we have it in stock before we actually capture the order from the customer. And what we can click right here is to send a warning email that lets us know if our authorized uh, credit cards are about to expire because you only have a few days to actually capture the payment after the customer has authorized their card. So if I get an order on my store and I say, okay, perfect, this is in stock. I do carry and I have chicken and brown rice recipe, six pound bags in stock. I'm okay to accept this payment. I'll click on capture the payment and say, okay, I want to capture the full amount and I'll accept the $35. And now, we see here that the payment status has now been changed to paid. The other piece is how do we take care of fulfillment? And we'll cover that in the next video.